It was just too much, honestly. We have an Invoker in, a, in like a fun game with Nisha who haven't been able to play it on this stage. We have a Yapsor. Rubik. We have a Timbersaw versus an Alchemist, which is always going to be fun. And also versus a Core Snapfire. Remember, these two heroes are strength. So Timbersaw does have a pretty good set game set up for him. And then we have No-Tail on some signature hero too. You know, Tree. We've got a lot of fun things going on here. And a very comfortable draft from both sides. I'm, I'm hoping that we have some good battles coming out. I think Secret have put themselves in a position of some very strong lanes, and I'm seeing them already potentially doing that setup for an aggro tri lane and swapping stuff up. And again, you know, we do have a, a swap up for the heroes. It's a five tide. So that win rate mm -hmm. for some of these heroes, this is going to shift shift things around because of what role it is playing. And I'm, I'm curious to see how it's going to do because that gush can be very effective in some of these lanes like versus Alchemist, very low armor hero. I feel like he could actually do some decent work down there and it's actually going to be OG the one with the initial try lane. All right, yeah. So this, as you say, taking a page out of, of uh, Secret's book. We'll, we'll see how Secret prepares for this and how they, they respond. And let's see that, yeah, this mid lane going to be very exciting to watch. Tops and Snap against the, the Nisha Invoker. I mean, Snapfire is a hero. We just don't see anybody play it right now, nope. folks. I mean, what's what sort of the reasons? What, why is this game going to be a bit of a challenge potentially for, for Topson on a hero that nobody else wants to touch right now? It's just been nerfed. Matu bottom, he's stepped oh, hang on. Dark pack. They might just have him there. They've got it. He's dead. All right, first blood here for Seb. As they, they strike, as that tri lane, and Matu not quite ready for the offensive damage that these three heroes offer. Acid spray with three heroes hitting you. Minus four armor. Instantly does take out the Slark as he's not careful enough. He pushed out the wave too. He used Dark Pack to push it up. Sax is going to have another stun. On him. He's, he might just get Puppy here. Is he going to get Puppy? He is. Hey, everybody get All the right. two kills. All right. OG with a big hit to start things off in the bottom lane. Lion level two already off the bat. And... You know, the Snapfire, getting back to that, we haven't seen it because it just got straight up nerfed, Owen. You know, the Aghanims got addressed. It was completely broken before. It got completely shattered and shut down. We'll see what Topson's able to do with it because he's the one who did start doing that, like, E-Blade mid yeah. on the Snapfire rush first. So, yeah, that could be what he's looking for as it can apply good pressure. And it is going to get gifted in eggs at some point, so... Yeah, I'll be interested to see sort of how Seb prioritizes this game. I mean, is this a game that you look at and you feel that Seb, he is going to be get, getting multiple Ags out uh, sort of first in his build, or is it going to be another one where we see one Ags delivered and then he's going to build for himself? I could see him build for himself after the first one, yeah. yeah. It, there's definitely a lot of merit. Just the blink stun whenever you're playing versus Invoke or any of these blink initiators. Is Bottom. So I could see Seb getting that as, I mean, Puppy, he's, he's looking pretty dead. There's uh, boots on this line. He's going to run him down. Sax is, is going to be able to cancel the salve and... He's going to let Puppy be for now. Uh, Puppy, oh. actually, okay, easy bounty route. Okay, <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the dream. And he is able to pull a little bit of the support, you know, pull those two away from the lane a little, so Matu gets some freedom for last hits. Taking a look at these matchups, we're seeing the Invoker pretty close matched up versus that Snapfire. Top, Timber Suffering. He's had to go for that Timber Chain, and it is a very threatening lane of that Monkey King with the support of the tree. See bottom, Matu. Bottom again, Matu. Uh, trying to go in for Saxa. Saxa. He's into the tree. Ooh. Salve is popped. He's keeping himself away from Puppy as well, so he's going to get a good amount of time out of this salve. In fact, he's going to get the full salve off. Puppy unable to cancel it. And Saxa's is back up to full HP. I like how this is like the minus four armor lane. The, the Gush and then the Alchemist Acid Spray, both of them just battling each other. Hey, but one's AoE. So OG able to capitalize on that, at least when they do commit with two melee heroes under it. I mean, it's, it, Puppy's not going to be able to offer too much in this lane for a little no. bit of time now as he's entirely out of mana. He has got a stick coming out, but on top of that, just tangos and sows. No sort of mana regen or mangoes at all. So he's he's going to be without abilities for quite some time down here. Yeah, it's huge. Like, Sox are getting that level two literally on the first wave, pretty much. He just has the mana drain. So it's, it is tripping them up a bit. And the fact that Seb's able to get so much down here is huge because the Slark overall is a good matchup for him. And this start up for them is really important for OG for this Alk. As mid, Topson. He's getting aggro on Nisha. Oh, he is. And he's going to have another blast in a second. It... Oh, not going to quite be able to... The wave. Oh, he might still get it. Actually, Nisha's baiting. He turns with the cold the, the tower. The tower's hitting into him. <sighs> Topson able to, oh. to de-aggro the, the tower just in time. And he has got Jerome a full bottle on his way out. Just at this point of the four minutes, he's going to get lucky on the rune. He is as well, <laughs> right by him. Of so course. Topson, he's going to be able to fully refuel. Nicely done, too. He glyphed the wave aggressively to try to punish Nisha. Almost dies himself, but a nice attempt. As you're seeing, yeah, mid one, really the top of that chart. Zai still getting a little bit, but he's not able to apply pressure at all versus this Monkey King for 
quite some time. It's not going to be easy for them until they do really have like level six on that timber saw to slow down Midwin's farm. And Yapsor, he is getting his farm, you know, he's getting close to Arcane Boots, but he's not able to make anything happen with this early game so far. No Tail's able to get these little mini pulls off that we do like to see in the safe lane. As Yapsor, maybe he stepped up too far. They couldn't connect with the Leech Seed though. But Midwin's gonna try for Yapsor. Nah, he's still gonna go for it. He's gonna have mana in a minute for, for the Boundless Strike. He might not even need it actually. Right clicks alone. Get the job done. He's mid bomb picking up kills on top of the free farm that he's already getting on the safe lane. It's probably the reason why I love having Monkey King safe lane. It's one of the best heroes to always go for those supports that do those cheeky plays to block the camps. Because you have tree dance. Very few heroes have that type of mobility as a carry to help out your you know your supports from pulling. So some good stuff from mid one. And Noto is able to sneak in and get the bounties. Four bounties for OG. Oh, wow. Right, that's certainly getting the money in in this early stage, isn't it? Also, uh, as you said, uh, not, he does not have, he doesn't a, point have a point in, in the, 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 the Grievals playing purely for the strength in the lane, so won't, won't get any benefit. But nonetheless, uh, a good amount of money there for, for the squad. Alchemist is getting so much down bottom. This is pretty crazy. Is Sox, they're going to start going on them with Sox too. Yep, so he's oh. going to get gone on again. And mid one's able to build up the Jingu. So he can turn and get some good damage down onto Zai. He's thinking about it. Strike, but yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't quite be enough. So holds off on it. Nope. Down bottom, seven stacks. They're able to run down Puppy. Five to zero. OG definitely coming in with the, the stronger lane execution so far in this first six minutes. Yeah, I, the, the fact that they did that start with the tri lane really has set up Seb for such success because they got that level two so quickly on and it's been... It's been really effective to shut down the Tide's pressure. Like, Puppy's pretty much doing nothing but just giving space and giving his life for the Slark in all these situations. And Matu is making the most of it. You know, his farm... He is. He's still looking very hot down there in that safe lane. Up top, Zai. Zai. They're going to catch him. Uh, have they got the damage? Ooh, not quite. Another chain away. Midpoint's trying to chase. He's got those phase boots. And in fact, from a distance, Topson rains down the ultimate and is able to make sure that Zai's not getting away. Zai's game looking pretty rough. There's a lot of magic damage to do with this Timber Saw 2 in the mid game. He's going to have to find some way to recover. That lane is not not easy for him or Yapsor. They're going to start having to break around a little bit. Yapsor's ditching up there. I think he has to make moves with Nisha now. Mid. How bad it's gone. And he will. I'm going to try and make the attempt on to top him. And he already gets the jump off. And he's away. Bottom lane step. The concoction going and stacks up with that stun will manage to, to give Sep the space Look to the back damage. up. Puppy sticking down very low. Matu by his side though, able to stop Saxa from being able to chase Puppy any longer. The acid spray just makes you know Puppy's a tide hunter, but he looks so squishy because he's actually negative two armor when he's under it. And so a lion who's hitting him actually looks very significant. But yeah, Matu he has absorbed the majority of that space and he is. He's almost at the same as that Monkey King. He's a little bit behind because of the kills that have gone up up top, but not too shabby. Seb, the big winner though, right? He's already got like 3k net width. He's already got the eggs queued up. He's already going to get ready to give that one over to either the Monkey King or the Snapfire. At a very early time in the game because of this start. And Zai, he, he just can't get levels. They're just, they're not letting him walk up at all. They immediately commit onto him every time he shows. Oh, and level, another great stuff from Midbot. Zai's going to try for the Roshan to nine. He's going to be able oh. to do it. Nice moves from Zai, at least able to to stop any further benefits going the way of mid one over towards the mid lane. Tempt on Topson, but Topson's all right. Bottom lane step. Step again. He's getting gone on here by Matsu this time. Oh, he stunned himself. He did, he wasn't able to get it off in time. Still able to run though, Saxa. Giving him the space, holding back Matsu. Sep will be able to live. That chemical rage will heal him straight back up. And now they have the point in armor too. No tail. He went for two points in leech seed just for the lane to be able to destroy the timber saw. Now the armor is going to come into play to completely counteract the gush minus armor. So that's going to be hard for Matu to commit onto that. Usually would be a squishy alchemist in the off lane, but yeah, it's just going to be changed. As Nisha just being annoying, he's just burning Topson's mana. Not able to really pose any threat versus him so much. So yeah. I mean, the three heroes here of OG around that mid, but nothing going to come of it. Do they have any stacks? That's what I was kind of looking around for for the Alk. They don't. So Seb, he won't be able to get enabled by that. 
but he is going to be able to go to the jungle and start getting that farm on. And it's really up to Secret to start now looking to pressure. Because if every time I see this, when you get these offlane alchemists that they just start being able to hit jungle and it's, unpun it's unpunished, you know, the factory is going to start kicking in. Oh, yeah, Secret, they got to start yeah. doing something to at least apply some pressure here. But it's it's hard because of the, how these lanes have started. They don't have the great heroes to just make a move to a tower and be able to push it. See so Topson, he can go for this with the ult. Puppy, he tries to stand close to avoid the damage, but he's going to be straight in the reach of Saxa. Matu, he's going to wrap around on towards the lion, but see if he wants to die for this. He's still very strong, of course, Matu, getting a, a huge amount of XP out of the bottom lane. He's level eight on the slot. Nisha, Nisha, trying to poke at some action here. He's got the back of a Matu. Now moving for no tail. You see the jump over from Topson. He's able to hold him back with the stun. Tornado out to no tail. No tail will fall. See if Matu can find anything else out of this one. He's a little low on Saxa. mana, Saxa, ticking down to the urn, Topson, they'll be able to turn with the finger, the burst, have they got enough to take down Nisha? No, he's out with the Ghost Walk. He's away with the Invis, Midwon's made his way over, one. jumps in over towards Yapsor, Yapsor will get taken out here, Topson to finish him with the Scatter Blaster step. He's running in for Matu, Dark Pact, instantly takes off the stun, as Matu will make it away. Oh, I love watching these teams. <laughs> just immediately around the enemy triangle, just like eight heroes show up to just battle so early on in the game. And I think Zai is probably the most happy off of that. He's gotten space. I've seen he's queued up the quad Midas on the timber saw now, so he's feeling pretty good. Dyer's top and Nisha is able to get some earned charges. Dyer's really important yeah. for that Quaswex invoker. And now he's up to level nine. So he did get enabled quite a bit over Topson now, who is level, he's 3-0 on this Snapfire, but now add a mana too. And Nisha, he's at the ready to TP and he can look to help out his teammates while Topson, he might have to just make the walk back home. Top lane, Zai. He's very low, but he is Ooh. actually able to get away from the opening from Notel and Saxa. Zai will be fine and he's got backup. Nisha heading in, maybe seeing if he'll find the setup. He's going to look towards Saxa. Got the opening. Does he have the damage? Saxa still pretty speedy with these tranquils. It's only a level one sun strike. He invokes it just to like throw it, threaten stocks of it. Sass is just fine. That's and Seb, he'll come top. He'll yeah. stop that push. He'll be able to get that farm. And he's he's three components in. He's actually top net worth on his team as well. And I imagine if this first Dax, I, surely it's going to go to mid one. I feel like mid one gets an Ags on top of like this sort of similar time when he's going to get a Maelstrom. That's going to be that's going to be ridiculous. Like this Monkey King's going to yeah. be so farmed so quickly if he gets a quick Ags Maelstrom given to him. Yeah, I agree. he can just show up to every fight then, because yeah. he's going to be so tanky and just so enabled from, and he's going to do crazy damage. Yeah, I, I can agree with that too. It's just better than the frequency of the uh, the Snapfire Axe, but you know we're saying that, and it's probably going to get given to the Snapfire because of how much we're saying it. But I mean, hey, it's no so cheese. I do like it, it, it might just get like given to Saxa, you know. <laughs> they could go for something really wild. Nisha, Sentry's there. Do they have the catch? The Ooh, cookie on the creep. The cookie grabs him. Have they got anything else though? They don't. So Nisha, he makes it away. First Ags, here it comes. He's finishing up a nice little double stack here. And it's going to be done. So we will see who it gets gifted to as they I'm are surely in surely this game. Surely you give it to your Monkey King here. I'd imagine so too. Yeah. He's going to be so strong with an early Ags Maelstrom. Let's get And Secret, they're giving Puppy levels as he's really struggled in this early game, still level five. See the rotations top. They found Zai. They've got a finger as well if they need it. They've got so much burst. They don't even need it. All right, eyes on the eggs. He gives it the tree. <laughs> He's completely baseless. Like, nah. Eats it himself. You know. <laughs> yeah, right. Zero benefit. <laughs> well, I guess he'd get a little Alrighty. bit of a boost, but uh, uh, that's not going to happen. No. So early on, though, it's 13 minutes and he's able to pump this one out. We do see Secret with the other two top net worse, and I'm seeing him running to Monkey King. I see Topson walking towards and say, hey, please, sir. Topson's like, wait, no, please. <laughs> but here we go. So straight over Boom, to mid one, and uh, that's the Maelstrom on the courier as well. So you're getting oh. a free 14 minute Aghanim's Maelstrom Monkey King thanks to this. And they're I, immediately they just like start posing their potential around that Roche pit. And look at that net worth. Yeah, 9.6k net worth. The most farmed Monkey King at 14 minutes. I think we've I mean, seen the past. That's just insane. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, this is the, the power they, of the out. Yeah. Wait. What's going on here? Wait, what you got? Am I seeing this right? No. I'm not maybe. seeing Monkey spawning around mid one. Wait, what? 
Look, he's not. <gasps> I don't see any Wukongs. It's because he's, he hasn't got the, he's not got the oh, ult skill. He hasn't got the oh, ult okay. skill. He hasn't got the oh, ult skill. It's all good. We're fine. Dude, I had like. Don't worry. I was like, is it bugged? What's going uh, on? A death okay. valve was now watching like, oh no. <laughs> but he didn't have the ult skill. We're good though. No, he's hit level 10. And now he can start Roche. Perfectly timed. The thing is, he can do, yeah. he can do Roche with full effectiveness as we know Monkey Kings do. Mm -hmm. Roche doesn't move for some reason even though he's getting hit. And now they're going to have Acid Spray to boot. So Secret, their hand is forced. Do they want to react to this or not? Uh, surely you have to. They, they've got a decent fight around the pit, right? Ravage, can, Invoker combo. You're walking into Wukong's shield. Like, you're just asking to get slaughtered if you just walk into there. Like, you're not taking I guess. Up at this point on the timber. Yeah, you're right. They're not going for it. They're letting OG take this one. That's so early. Zai. They found him. He'll be able to grab the bouncy rune, uh, but he'll pay with his life. Actually, wait. He died to a neutral creep. Wait, what neutral creep? What neutral creep? Did he, did he, did he, did he dug up a creep? Does he got a shovel? No, he has a fairy. He has a fairy trink. Wait, what? Wait, what? How did he die to a neutral creep? Somebody solve the mystery right now. Twitch chat, go. Oh, it's the Hellbear Smasher! It was the Hellbear Smasher! It comes and claps! It gives him the oh clap! It wraps all the way around from the big me? camp! And it slaps Zai out of the game! Hey! <laughs> 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 all right. All right. <laughs> oh, well. OG? Hellbear Smasher's still making an appearance. After their series earlier. <laughs> Mid one in the front line. Can they burst him down? They can the ones. All right. I mean, this is why he's on an Aegis. He's ready for round two. Puppy. Ooh. The Ravage Ooh. timed very nicely. Runs amongst them all there, those tentacles, to set up for the second kill on mid one. And Matu now poking back Seb. Maybe have gone, has gone too far. I mean, Matu's going to start cleaning well. some up in return here. So second one down. See if Secret can catch any more. They can. Nisha. Some of the tornado with Thompson. He's got the save. Cookie over to Saxa and Saxa's off to safety. So, well, that, that was the Aegis push and they, they just lost the Aegis and, and two cores on top. I want. I just want to rewatch that Ravage. That was beautiful. He just did it like perfect timing as the Aegis comes up, yeah. catches the whole Very back nice. line. Now Matu, he's oh, actually they, looking for They're the in the fan, Thompson. They're in straight away. The Wukong's command does come down. Thompson able to keep himself safe for the Ghost Scepter. Mid one jumping in over towards Puppy. They burst through the tide. Now turn over towards Nisha. If they got any catch, Saxony's going to have a stun in a few seconds, but Nisha's out with the Ghost Wall. These teams are not going to give up their tier ones for free. This is going to be the biggest battles ever. 5v5 in the mid lane. As Nisha, he's going to Meteor it. Do they have anything left to really defend this one, though, on Secret? They don't have Ravage, but they're going to keep trying to slow it down. Yeah, they've got Zai able to spam out the Chakram. OG, full force, Seb even running back from base to the mid lane. Fortification pop, they're sending up here onto mid one, and into the EMP, mid one getting very low, but from the side, the damage from Thompson raining in a good angle on the tornado, will put a stop to the ult from Thompson, Seb trying to run, sends the concoction straight back over to the side, Matu, he's Saxa. looking for a free kill onto Saxa, he's gonna get it. They can't keep him off the lion. And now Zai's They're ready chasing. to try chasing for more as they go in onto Tops and Tops and pops the Ghost Scepter. Turns around with the jump over towards Ivy. The burst is there from Yapsor. Takes him out with a Fade Bolt. You see Matsu, he's even maybe looking for more step. He's going to end up stunning himself. Couldn't find a target in time. Matsu, he's chasing over towards Mid One, but Mid One's out into the trees. They'll go for No Tail instead as No Tail taken out. Matsu perfectly able to weave in and out of the fights and starting to get very aggressive here with this Diffusal Blade build Slark and getting some good early action. Two, one, and four here on Matumba Man, as he, he he's absolutely ready to, to play a game and, of catching up to, to Mid One's Monkey King. You know, Mid One getting a burst with that Aghanims. Matu, he's definitely set on showing that he doesn't need that sort of assistance to carry the game. I think Mid One's being just a little bit too over, like too over aggressive. He might feel like he's the strongest here in the game, but he gets lifted, pulled way out of position, then an EMP just knocks him out of the fight for the majority of the time. And yeah, Matu. Oh, he's gonna try and farm this, but they're ready. Support. They're and ready, they're perfectly they ready for this. They knew that he was gonna go for that wave. Secret jump from the trees, Mid One. And they're gonna blow a Whoa. Ravage for it. They wanna leave no chance of him jumping into the trees. So Puppy more than happy to drop the ult for that one as Matu and, is set up for another. And now, the five position Tide who struggled so much, it's a blink dagger. These initiations for Secret are gonna be much easier for the side of OG. OG's gonna have a lot of trouble now walking into these fights. As the movements, like Secret, they're not letting up. They've seen that they've broken OG's momentum Matthew. and now they're the ones just going from kill to kill. It's just go, go, go. As his game, it's speeding up whilst Mid One's after a, 
A big cash injection from Seb. Uh, slowing down a little bit. Matsu's really starting to, to gain on him here. Yeah, and we're seeing the other the other two cores just almost completely out of it. The Snapfire 5800 now with Alchemist, of course, because he gave that Ags. He's so far behind. I think Secret's going to start having like a five core lineup, it feels like. As Yapsor has found his farm, has farm. Puppy already has his key item with that Blink Dagger. And they're just looking for more. They're hunting. Even though they don't have Ravage, they're feeling that confidence versus this fight. I'll see if things change for OG when they have that, that next crucial item on mid one. The BKB, just half a recipe away. He really, he really needs, needs it. it. But it, I, the rest of his team is just still going to be super susceptible. Like they're all just going to die to all this damage that's coming out. Sai, he's not dying. Mid. You know, with this hood, with this plate mail now. I mean, they're just Probably. able to walk up and look Topped for kills. Thompson, he pops the Ghost Scepter. It's buying him a bit of time, but he's still going to go down. A secret, just finding kills as they wish, sweeping across the map. OG unable to fight back. Nisha, he's poking in for more. Matsu's coming in with a wrap round, but Seb with the ult popped. Will be enough for Secret to, to reassess how they want to fight this. OG, OG still can't fight without oh. Midwin's BKB. Not at all. It's just, he's like literally the whole presence of the team right now because he was gifting that, gifted that Ags. And he's going to have it done. So let's see what, if OG's able to take these fights because Secret's just picking up the pace too much. And Ravage, it's going to be back up in 30 and now they're hitting the top tower already. Here we go. So blink on of initiation. Okay, yeah, they have a blink on step. They yeah. needed some ways to be able to start in the, start the fights and get into the back lines to follow up with mid one. Now they're gonna smoke. Now see if they can get that jump. The tier two is already gonna be taken out though. Secret. They get the tower. Ravage up in ten. Matu showing his face. And he's ready to. He's just committing straight away in onto Saxa. They do turn, get the stun out. He's see if they can control him long enough, but he's able to put the shadow dance. He's trying to step out of the Wukong's command. Fingers out. They burst Matu low. He'll fall. Matu ends up going down as now it's OG's turn to try and turn. The Ravage comes out, but he doesn't clip anything at all. Mipon already has the BKB out. He can run down Zai. OG, they strike back. They give Seb's life, but they see Matu. They commit everything onto this Lark to kill him. And then, I did the Acid Brace stop, acid spray stop Tide's blink? I didn't see what, what happened there, because he blinked really far on the left side toward the end there. But Matu, he got completely isolated. And they I mean, he wanted Ravage to go ready. in. You see? You see the top, look, there's no Ravage still on uh, Puppy, and they were claiming Outpost, so it was great positioning from OG and just capitalizing on the fact that Secret wasn't ready for that hit to come in. Yeah, and you're right, this Acid Spray that Seb put down they, they created this them. whole area that Puppy, he, he, he couldn't get in and get a jump off. No. That was sort of the only option he had, dropping the Ravage when it, it, he, he could, but obviously nothing being achieved with it at all, with that BKB ready to go on mid one. That is the big timing fight for them. The big steal was taken, though, from Yapsor. He did get the Mortimer kiss. Oh. So for this next fight, OG does have to be pretty cautious. That's a lot of damage that's coming in. Soxa, gonna get started on. Well, they, it's gonna be covered here. My here Nisha, the Nisha turns, and here's the Mortimer's kisses. Mid one has to put the BKB to commit for Zai. Pound this up. It's off the mark. Zai's able to get away with the timber chain. Zeb getting low. Yapsor jumps in, finishes him off with a blast from the Fade Bolt. And now Matsu, yeah, he's looking for No Tail. They're looking for Topson as they dive in towards the tier two. Chase down No Tail, move over towards Topson. Zai blocking him off from any potential escape. That's three kills for Secret. Straight back on track to winning the team fights. And OG unable to punch back again this time. Mid one using the BKB, but didn't quite have the, the power to, to take down Zai. Secret lose nothing this time round. He had to use it completely defensively. They have, they know exactly where he is right now. Mid one, they're scouting with the Sunstrike. Can't quite find him though. And like Secret's showing that they don't need ults to fight. Oh, they're just recognizing that OG, they do need all of their arsenal in order to take the fights versus Secret. Secret Ravage is back up in 20. They're doing these fights just by running in to the OG heroes and catching them off guard when they don't have those ults. And Matu, no, another tier two. Yeah. As the towers are falling. Matu's going to be a huge nuisance in the next fight. He's got the, the full SMY coming out, and he's just found himself a quick silver amulet. So he's oh, going to be incredibly a speedy zipping in and out, locking down on wh whoever he wants with this build. You, you cannot run away from this Lark. You've, you've got no, to throw things be... back and disable him. And he's going to be buffed up too, right? There's going to be Alacrities that are coming in. There's going to be Lotus Orbs that are thrown onto this Lark too. OG. Oh, they have to get some really big team fights and clean up a lot of heroes here to start coming back because it's really just mid one this game. I mean, Everyone else falling so far behind. Let's see if they can do it here. OG. Again, secret they've got everything ready. Ravage is good to go. 
As there's the there jump, is. Poppy straight away. Ravage blown on the stack, so they take down the line. Mibwon still wants to try and get the fight going. Pops the Wukong's command, but they, they all just step off. out of it. They move out of the Monkey King ult immediately. Matu heads over towards Topson. There's two dead on OG. The remaining three, they've got to run. They haven't got any ults good to go. Nish is able to land the, the three-man tornado. Follow up, Deafening Blast. Mibwon now pops the BKB, but OG, they're going to lose Topson. They're going to lose No Tail. It's only Mibwon left alive. A secret, they've lost nothing. Yapsaw, stolen concoction, thrown over to the Monkey King. It's a team wipe, as OG are all dead and out of action. Secret really taking these fights with, with very, very much, you know, this, this level that it's kind of hard to see what OG's meant to do right now. Secret are just making it look kind of easy at this stage. Yeah, Puppy just blinks and doesn't care what he ravages. As long as he kick connects with like one or two heroes, they know they're going to kill them so fast because how squishy they are. They are so far behind on all four of these OG heroes, they're actually going to get surpassed by all five of Secret oh boy. very soon. And I mean, the ultis, the tree, root, the tree root misses everything. The Monkey King ult, they just walk out of it. They can just reset and walk away from a lot of these ults on Secret and just capitalize and get on top of these squishies. As now they're starting to really just fully run away with the game. Effectively five core heroes, it feels like. As Yapsor, he did die in that last fight, of course. He did die to one of the, the nasty statues. So at least one kill for OG, but... Yeah, the pressure's really looming them on them, and it really doesn't feel like their ults are gonna have the, the effect. It doesn't feel like mid one, this gifted Ags, is gonna have the effect that they really wanted it to. No, for sure. I mean, when you do run something like the, the, the offlane Alchemist, and you go for this, you know, Ags into your carry sort of build, if your carry then doesn't have some sort of excellent game straight off the, the back of it, you know, the, the, the plan, it's not gone to plan right. You, you give your carry this sort of boost, you expect a lot, but this game, Secret, they've been, been able to deal with mid one in pretty much every fight. They just collapse on them so quickly. And it's not easy for Topson as Steps a in. this game. They get the Gaps opening stuns onto Matumba Man, into the Hex. Matu, is he able to get out of the Wukongs? He is. He's, he's away and he's into the shadows. He's going to start healing back up. As again, I mean, that's what a few ultimates thrown out here. The Wukongs and the Mortimer's Kisses. No kills to be found. They have to fall retreat. Mid one's still on the high ground here. Uh, it's Matu just catches him. him. He just oh jumps up God. straight away. They get the opening onto Mid one. Mid one's down. He's out of the game for 50 seconds. He was not ready for that at all. I think he had the BKP ready to pop, but he just didn't expect Matter to be able to jump and clip him immediately. It's, oh, it's turning into a bit of a shambles here from OG. As Seb, he's also in trouble. Secret running him down inside the base. Seb's gone. Wow. And they're ready to start that's, sieging the high ground now, Secret. That's just insane awareness. Like, Matu, he's he's seeing that he's, you know, his shadow dance isn't active. They don't have a ward on the high ground. Like, that's actually, you know, that's OG's ward on the high ground there. But he just knows where he is. He jumps, gets the tree cut. No way mid one expected that as the game fully in control. I mean, it, control. it's they feeling like it's kind of over here. Taking the yep. top racks, moving towards the mid lane. It's crazy how even when the Alchemist was having such a good time and gifting the eggs, look at the n difference in net worth. Secret kept it within 1k the whole time, and then they just exploded after those two or three team fights. That's OG. They're going to try and start the defense. And Zai. You know, it's no longer the, the, the easy kill they're able to get in the lane. No. He's, uh, he's grown up. He's, he's a big boy now, Zai. And they, they can't <laughs> kill this man. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Secret. Now with such, just such a firm control. Even though Lincoln's on the Invoker too. Level 19 on Nisha. As, I mean, Matu's also just about to hit level 19 too. These levels are insane. It's 6 0 10 on the Invoker, 7 2 and 11. These two cores. Yeah, it's wild. Really taking over. As Topsin, he's 4 and 4. You know, the Snapfire. It, I'm going to try and go there, but Puppy's in with the Ravage. ravage. Catches no tail, catches Mibborn. Mibborn is even going to be able to get the BKP off. He's not. He's just dead. He's dead again. Out for 50 seconds. As now Matu. They've got the hex opening. Over to the side. They're controlling Saxa. The Saxa's gone. It's another kill for Matu. Up on the cliff. Topson taken out. They're calling it. This is absolutely done. It's over. GG is called. Secret Holy will take this game one. My goodness, did this one.